So it's Friday the 20th of November, uh, pretty wet, about two in the afternoon and I bunked off work. So plan is um, to get the car prepared this weekend to go to the body shop, the new body shop, the one who did the door skin. He's going to paint the door inside now after checking the fit. Um, let me think, there's some little bits on the body where I've little scratches and chip paint where I've put the car back together. Yeah, sorry, didn't really film that. I'll show you what I've done though, I'm gonna be pretty honest with you. Um, which you can easily do at the same time because he's mixing up the paint, it's not like we're using huge amounts here. It's only small stuff. But it, you know, I almost threw up when I saw it. <laughs> and whilst he's doing the door fit, I've asked that he could do the door seals for me. Having done the boot seal, I struggled with it. Struggled with body alignment. It's not really something I'm very good at. Um, body work in general, actually. I'll be fairly open on that one. Um, so, since he's got the car, he's got the skills, he can do it a lot easier and a lot quicker than I can with a higher level of quality, basically. He's happy to do it. I'm happy to let him do it. So that's where we're at. So the car's getting picked up Monday morning. Um, I had to get a Booker trailer, which had its own turmoil because it's going four miles and one company wanted, I think it was about 80 quid, one way. Because the Cortina is modified. Didn't tell them why, how, what I'd done, because putting a a Cortina on a trailer, taking it to a body shop um, with a slightly hotter cam and a different air filter and a, you know all the other stuff that I've done apparently makes it very difficult. I was asked about the weight of the car and I think conservatively we're in the 600 kilo mark. The car's got a curb weight of around 820 I believe. So you know no interior, no glass, loads of other stuff that I've not done yet. So, 600 kilos, fair enough. I was told that that is quite heavy on uh, their trailer. I was gonna let that sink in, because I still can't get over it. I have a 2018 Fiesta that weighs 1300 kilos. So, less than half the weight. I can get that trailer easily. 600 kilos is heavy. Wanna have a word with yourself. So anyway, found somebody else. He's come in, eight o'clock, pick the car up, we're gonna take it to the body shop, and then I'm gonna go straight to work. But in the meantime, um, I've got to do some jobs, and I'll show you through it now. So I'm just gonna give these a little spray. These are the check straps for the hinges. I'm gonna get those painted white to match the rest of the car, and then fit them on the hinge. So that'll be a paint those today, put them on tomorrow. Moving forward, I'll sort all this out because it is a mess. So firstly, all this stuff, um, I should have sorted sooner, but I haven't, because, uh, you know, when you're in the middle of the job. So that needs to be cleared out. Seat back in position. Might have to put the cover on if it's raining as best as we can. Let's see, uh, heater pipes, they need to come out, rear seat needs to come out, boot needs that carpet piece coming out because there's no point it being in there and if it is gonna get wet, um, it's gonna make a mess. So, plan is get all this lot out um, tomorrow. So I think those, I'll focus on the hinges, hinge bits today, getting those painted. Um, and that's about it. I'll probably turn the car around beforehand over the weekend if I get five minutes and it's dry. So I better get a crack in. That's it. Check straps in. Well, that just stops the door opening further than it needs to. So the plan now is, as I said before, get this stuff out. And then uh, turn the car around.
the door check straps are done on both sides. But a bit worried that the car didn't want to start. Couldn't get it running. Um, bit weird on that one. Firstly, I think the battery was flat. I need to have a look at what's stopping it because I could do with being able to manoeuvre it easily to get it on the trailer. So tomorrow's job before I uh, put her away for the night is to get her running better. That's it. It's there's no choice. So I'm put the car on charge, go get a shower, chill out, might play with a bit of Lego, and come back to it tomorrow. So the Cortina's now at the body shop. Uh, <laughs> The trailer a bit tricky um, so wasn't so much of an issue that I couldn't get the car to run because the guy got a winch which is great but we had our first frost yesterday 8 a.m. trailer's actually got frost on it um, my track is slightly out so this wheel was straight that wheel was a bit which we I mean going back to the suspension episode I never actually tracked it because there was no point. I mean, I'm still going to put the engine in and things like that back when I did all that business. So we get eventually get the Cortina on the trailer and I'm sat going up, up this ramp, like a fucking roller coaster. We get on the trailer, um, no problem at all. Although I nearly fell out of the car because I don't actually have the seat boarded in because I take it out sometimes. So I'm used, holding on to the steering wheel thinking if I let go, I'm going straight out of the boot. <laughs> anyway, car gets to the body shop, no problem at all. Car's now been dropped off at the body shop. And now I am left with this. All this room for activities, but I think we might have a little bit of a project here and I'll show you. So this is the aftermath of having the car in here for a year um, and doing work on it. It's been, yeah, it's been about 12 months since it went away last. That's all the stuff that came out of the car on top of the bench. That is an absolute mess. Underneath all that ri rubbish is a lathe, which I need to start getting to work again because I need to start making some bits. Um, it's a Myford lathe, so if anybody's interested about me putting this back together and making it work, I will do something about that. I'm quite tempted to anyway, so. But yeah, this is an absolute tip. So that's me cleaning the garage up till the uh, car comes back. I don't know when it's coming back, actually. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been a bit of a weird one. Um, and I will be back with some information on the car as soon as I get some. Um, if you've not already, please like, share, subscribe, all that business. Definitely subscribe. Uh, really appreciate that. And I really appreciate you all getting in touch. Um, bye for now.